Hello again guys, in this video I'm going to be making another holiday cushion and this one it's more of like a, a mixed media art sort of thing. So I'll be making a background with my barn board stand and then I'll be constructing a wreath using my stamps and kind of like turning it into applique and doing some embroidery also and then embellishing the whole thing with buttons and yo-yos. I don't know why they're called yo-yos. Let's get started. Okay, so I have myself a 18 by 18 inch square and drop cloth. I'm just gonna give it a little iron. Let's go equal parts tomato, tomato, and equal parts provincial and turmeric to make brown ink for my barn boards. Okay, so we have our background made now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab some, this is just some scrap cotton. It's got a few stains on it. What's nice about this is you can make use of your scraps. We're making our little elements here. Okay. So there we go. So you're gonna wanna stamp your elements on a nice cotton um, with a high thread count, nice and tight. You get the best results stamp wise with that, but you can still get away with using like like drop cloth, but you're not going to get quite the detail like you would with this cotton here. Okay, hey, you are you're going to want to heat set your elements, of course. And I'm going to do like a not quite a fussy cut, but not a rough cut either. Kind of just like eyeballing maybe a centimeter around the whole thing. Now I'm gonna grab some flannel, which is a really nice fabric to work with if you want some nice fluffy texture added. And I'll set my pieces on here. And I'm gonna cut that out with a similar sort of border. And if you wanted to double it up, go for it. If you wanted to even put a layer of drop cloth underneath, the drop cloth gives more of a stringy texture and this stuff gives more of a fluffy texture. Go with as little or as much as you like. Now I'm just going to sew around the perimeter. Okay, so now that you've done that, you're gonna go in with your scissors and snip around your whole border. And that way when you throw it in the wash, all those little fibers are gonna get all frayed and raggedy. And then I'm gonna go the second tier, not at the same time, that way there's a little more variance in the layers. <laughs> so at this point, you wanna start thinking about how you're gonna get these pieces all together. When you're doing a wreath or a design with um, fabric pieces individually like this, you can play and, and experiment and, and arrange your pieces until you're happy with, with how they are. And I'm going to lay out my pieces and my yo-yos and I'm going to bridge any gaps with like some uh, laurel wreaths or the wreath building set. Okay, but how do you make yo-yos? So, you're gonna start off by tracing something that is a circle. Um, and keep in mind that um, when you're done, it's gonna be a lot smaller than the circle you're starting with. We're just gonna cut it out. Okay, and you're gonna wanna grab a thread 
that is not cotton. This is um, wax cotton, so it's a lot stronger than a regular cotton. A lot of people try to put their thread through the needle eye, but I always try to put the needle into the thread. So don't give it a lot of space to wiggle around on you. There, I find that a little less frustrating. What you need to do is you're gonna want to fold the good side down over like this and start sewing like a hem, an even amount around, like fold this down evenly. And you're going to want to do a running stitch, nice big stitches. So this is a very fast little project. <laughs> I'm going to go around the whole circle. And that's why you want nice strong thread, because you don't want it to snap on you when you're tugging on it. And if you're making a bunch of these at once, then you can just go through the middle and knot it. But if you're making them while you work, then you can just sew directly to where you want to sew it. But I'm just going to knot this off. And you can use these to embe embellish and decorate so many projects. I use it with a lot of little projects from brooches to like quilts and cushions. Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens and little hair ties and clips and things. Wow! Okay, I've sewn around. All my pieces are sewn down here and I cut off some of the loose threads. Now I'm gonna embellish it some more with some buttons. I'm gonna like tack some buttons onto the centers of some of these yo-yos. I'm gonna sew down a cute little label of the brand. And let's do some embroidery on some of the wreath parts as well. Okay, now that I have the front of the pillow completed, I'm gonna work on the back of the cushion. Okay, so you basically you have two flaps so that they are overlapping each other and I'm gonna hem both sides so that the raw edge is all tucked in there so it won't fray on us and it's nice and clean. Okay, if you want to know how I created the back of this cushion, refer back to my daisy cushion um, tutorial. There, see both edges are nice and clean and tidy and I've marked where I wanna put my little fastens and pinned them down, sewed them down, added the little buttons. It's not on camera here, but I then put all the facing pieces together and then sewed around the perimeter, flipped it right side out, and now I'm doing a top stitch around the whole perimeter of the pillow 
just to give it a little more polish to sew down all those raw edges on the inside. Okay, the pillow was bursting this open, so two fastens weren't working, so I added these to tie in the middle to keep all that cushion, all that stuffing in there. And these raw ends, we're going to fold them and then fold them again until they're nice and tucked away. And then we're gonna fold this in half. I'm gonna go in with some embroidery floss right in there. So the knot's hidden in that little sandwich. And I'm gonna do some whip stitch whip stitches here really close to the end so that it holds all those um, cut edges nice and together so it doesn't fray and I have that looped let's go one more loop and then I'm going to spin that around the entire thing a few times like that. Like that. And then I'm going to knot it when I feel like that's adequately. And then I'm going to feed my needle through and come out where I started. up again underneath and then snip that so I'm going to do both ends there and when I'm done it'll look like this which is cute with the buttons on either side and now you can tie that in this way it's not uh, you can see it was kind of like wanted to open up there Cute. Now the back's cute. I hope you guys enjoyed that and yeah we made little Santa wreaths with this guy but you can imagine using your IOD stamps to create um, multiple seasons of wreaths and uh, holidays like a nice summery one with flowers hmm, it's fun and uh, okay if you like this project consider subscribing because in my next video, I'm gonna show you how I created this Santa. Thank you again. See you.